Here to deliver the most famous words in motorsports, please welcome the President, Kellogg North America, Brad Davidson, the President, Kellogg USA Sales, Darcy Mackin, and Tech Sergeant from the Air National Guard and Sony Music Recording Artist, Angie Johnson. by the driver of that car, Marcus Ambrose, trying to become just the third man ever to win three straight down for the start at Watkins Glen.
talked about. So many places to make mistakes around this racetrack, and Kyle Busch had to be, he got, what, three restarts. He executed perfectly, and he had his hands full in that last time. I think that's why it took so long for him to rebound. Yeah. 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 <laughs> if he makes one, I mean, one slight bobble those last two corners, yeah. he loses that race. And that's what's so hard about leading these races on this road course. You don't want to make that mistake of driving it in too hard. You want to give yourself that chance, but you're opening up the door for that driver to get to your bumper. That's just good stuff by both of them. Yeah, we talked about emotions. Dave Rogers talking about we're human. We think about it. The ones that got away the last two years. Yeah, these road course wins mean a lot to a driver and a crew chief because they're so hard to get. They can erase those memories now. Yeah, if anybody was deserving of a victory here, this man's uh, given it every shot to, for that to happen. That was tremendous. Brad Kozlowski's throwing everything he can at him to try and get to him. And those last few corners were just fun. See, right here is where Kyle just does such a good job. It's flawless because if he gets in too hard, he leaves himself open. He got in there just hard enough. Brad was all over it. I, I think Brad had ideas of going to Kyle's outside there, but he didn't have quite enough room. Then it was the time to try to hit him. Or try and cross over. Still on. Yeah. yeah he did tap him. Clear. Yeah. And Kyle was so smart that he was right in the yeah. middle of the racetrack that didn't really give him room for either side to make that happen. four times in a row second place this is three i know you wanted the first position but tell us about those final laps especially battling for the win well you know um, kyle's car was really good after about five to ten laps. got off to about an hour delay to start this race we're now 109 laps in and under the red flag for some rain if you are just joining us let's get caught up on all that has happened so far and all Penske front row and Joey Logano in the 22 was very quick early on. Oh, real quick early on. He had a green racetrack and the temperatures are cool outside. That Ford is making big horsepower because of it. And he was just rocking out front of everybody with that clean air. The car is bullet fast. Strategy came into play under the competition caution. Jimmy Johnson, just two tires and that was enough for the lead. Put him back out front. Jimmy Johnson blazing fast. 48 cars, so strong. He goes out, leads 40 of the first 109 laps. So far has led the most laps. But then trouble for that 48 on the next pit stop. Yeah, green flag pit stop. The right rear tire changer knocks the lug off. He stops and puts it on, but the official doesn't see him put on. He's waving him, calls him. The lug is actually on. Then he waves it off, tells him they're okay. But it's already cost him four or five seconds took him from the lead to fifth position. Lost about nine seconds total on the track. And this is definitely not what you want to see when you're out there. A wall of water coming your way. On view from Casey Kane. Red flag comes out. And cars down pit road, drivers now out of their cars. But like we said earlier, track dryers getting a workout after we inside the Cook and Loans ESPN Pit <laughs> Studio. Hi, once again. What are your early thoughts from early on in this race? Well, I think we all wanted to see if Jimmy Johnson's back on track. We talked about that a lot. He's fast again. We talk, had him in the pit studio. I said the two-mile tracks, he's quick. At Michigan, the mile and a half, he's been fast. But can they right the ship? 
Well, I'll tell you what, he took the lead. He's had fast speeds. We just witnessed what happened on his pit stop that's got him behind. But other than that, I'm getting, giving him an A-plus for the speed and getting this thing going again. A lot of people in the mix, but uh, when you start looking at Jimmy Johnson, Joey Logano, and Matt Kenseth, those guys are super strong. A lot of power, good pit stops. They're serious right now, so uh, I'm anxious to go back racing to see what sorts out. Yeah, I think there's a lot of strength in the field. I, I was really surprised by the strength of the cars that took two tires and how long yeah. they ran. Normally, you know, you think, ah, two tires, maybe 15, 20 laps. But those guys that took two, it was good strategy for them. Matt Kenseth and those guys especially, they, they got out front and stayed there. One of the biggest storylines coming into this race, rule changes that NASCAR implemented after all the drama and controversy that unfolded in the race to the chase in Richmond one week ago leading up to this first chase race. Obviously, as we talked about earlier,